The children have the right to tell their parents when they want to come out. A heated night in Clovis where parents packed the school board meeting, many of them calling for a new transgender notification policy, despite it never being on the agenda. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Alex Zambalakian. Developing tonight, hundreds of Clovis Unified parents demanding school board trustees to adopt a district-wide transgender notification policy despite it never being on the agenda. Our Catherine Phillips joining us from outside district headquarters and cat. This heated debate went on for several hours. Yeah, Alex, and we're seeing some people still trickling out of the meeting right now behind us now at the 11 o'clock hour. There were so many people signed up for here tonight to speak about this issue. Many parents saying that this is about parental rights. However, LGBTQ advocates say that uh, this is a dangerous policy for trans youth. A packed and passionate boardroom in Clovis. 87 speakers signed up to speak Wednesday night about a transgender notification policy. Both for please vote to adopt a written parental notification policy. Thank you. Had any kind of injury on the playground, an altercation with another student. First thing you do, you notify the parents and against. Unfortunately, in the quest to increase parental rights, you sacrifice student rights. The children have the right to tell their parents when they want to come out. It's been a hot topic across California schools after a district in San Bernardino County implemented a notification policy a few weeks ago. Their policy says if a student requests to go by a different name, use a different restroom, or in any other way come out as trans, educators must notify the student's parents. State Attorney General Rob Bonta is now suing that district. Executive Director Jason Scott for LGBT Community Network says Clovis Unified's policy is forced outing and dangerous to transgender youth who are already at a high risk of homelessness and suicide. Up until March of this year, the district had an inclusive policy and that was supported and authored by the school psychologist and we would like to see them go back to that policy. CUSD Public Information Officer Kelly Avant says their existing policy takes into account individual students and they're paying attention to the lawsuit between the Southern California District and the state. We do not have a one-size-fits-all policy that dictates exactly how every situation would be handled. Our practices in Clovis Unified balance the rights and responsibilities and obligations that a parent and a guardian holds with the rights of a student to have access to those facilities. Again, this issue was not on the agenda tonight at this board meeting, so board members did not comment as members of the public spoke to them, and they also did not make any votes on whether to adopt or not adopt a transgender notification policy. We're live tonight in Clovis, Catherine Phillips, KC24, Local News That Matters.